The Importance of the Manor The lord of a manor, who was the overall landowner, had the right to run the land through a manor court administered by his, her officials. Manorial estates were divided between domain land, which was farmed directly for the profit of the lord, and land either rented for cash or earlier held by Villain in return for unpaid labour on the lord's domain land. The manor was the basic building block of the local rural community and decided its structure, customs and administration. Manorial estates often included a number of dependent settlements. For example, at Dilton, an outlying part of the otherwise compact manor of Dilton lay in an area called Le Mesh, Marsh, later Dilton Marsh. In a similar way, the hamlet of Penley, Bremeridge, was linked to Dilton by 1377. The shift of settlement focus from Old Dilton to Dilton Marsh was happening during the later medieval period. Mesh is identified in tax returns by 1332. This often left behind a church or shrunken settlement, as in the case of Old Dilton. As elsewhere, the manor at Dilton was the basic local organising influence on the lives of people living in both the core settlement at Old Dilton and the scattered farms and hamlets across the area of the manor. We cannot say for certain why the settlement at Dilton Marsh became the dominant settlement replacing Old Dilton. But we can make certain suggestions. It may well have been access to agricultural resources. It may well have been proximity to routeways. It may well have been disease, although this is often overstated. People frequently say settlements decline because of the Black Death. This happened, but it's often overstated. It may simply have been because there was not a tight enough manorial oversight which allowed subservient settlements to expand. What we do know is that from 1332, when the marsh, later Dilton Marsh, is first recorded, that it eventually was to grow to become the more important of the two settlements, leaving behind a reduced size, shrunken settlement at Old Dilton.